go. We live, baby. We live. We lit, baby. We lit. What's good? What's good, family? Shout outs to my notification gang that's geared in gang, gang, gang. Also, quick shout outs to ourstoryfashion.com. Oh, man. Ourstoryfashion.com. Keeping brother looking fresh. Ah, keeping a brother looking fresh. Ourstoryfashion.com. Gang. Yeah, buddy. Man, I answer in the building. What's good? What's good? Family tree. And hold tight for the trolls as well. God damn. I'm glad to see you lot in the building. Oh, yeah, buddy. I'm back with a bang. Oh, I'm back with a bang. The signal is getting crazy. So let me just change up to my 4G. You know, the way is there. You have to just change up one second, family. One second. Let me change up to the 4G. There we go. There we go. Let me know who's in the building for real. Ah. Uh, so you're saying tomorrow, family, tomorrow, who's who's looking forward to tomorrow? You know, tomorrow we're going to be at Speaker's Corner. Let me know. Let me know who's going to be around because it's going to be crazy tomorrow still. All right. Um, so, yeah, what I was going to say, what's going to say, what's going to say, I was going to say this. Truth be told, truth be told. You know, let me just see what the family say first of all. Oh, man. See, why is my Internet treating me like this? This is mad. All right, family, give me one second. Oh man. So you know what? Yeah, actually I might have to just redo this again, you know, but I really wanted to speak to you guys about, about some comedic science real quickly. Um, you know, I've got a lot of my family members saying, yo, Cal, let us actually do some study sessions on Kemet. And I'm definitely down for doing some study sessions on Kemet. Indeed, I want to actually start this next week if possible. If time, God willing, time willing, we can start this next week. And we're going to delve into some of the philosophy, delve into the esoteric side, the esoteric slash moral side of Kemet as well. And that's what I want to go into. You dig? So tomorrow, tomorrow, we're going to be there live and direct. Jeez. All right, family. Do you know what? Let me restart this so we can do this properly. Yeah? What are you lot saying? Restart it? Yeah, I think I have to restart it. Yeah, let me restart it furthermore. So give me a little while. Let me hollow you guys back and I'm going to restart the show again. Yeah, because I wanted to jump into some real topics. I wanted to go into something called the Eye of Ra, the Eye of Horus. I wanted to speak about the educational system in the comedic philosophy, KMTS, baby. I wanted to discuss, um, yeah, the curriculum itself and, um, you know, go forward with doing some study ses sessions. All right, family? So if you lot are really, really down for that and doing something like that and want to come through and actually be a part of it, just let me know. Let me know if you don't want to do something like that and we can have some nice study sessions where we can go into detail, yeah, detail of some comedic stuff. All right, does anyone has news on Brother Ty? Unfortunately not, you know, unfortunately, like literally we're all trying to get some news on Brother Ty, but um, we haven't been able to get back from him. Um, tell us about the baboon and the epic bull. Okay, now see, Abdul, Abdul Hamid is such a, um ignorant ignorant person you dig ignorant 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 so it's okay it's not your fault it's not your fault no one says that they worship a baboon they say that somebody has to become a sacred baboon and unfortunately for you you don't understand what that means and we don't even want to break down what a sacred baboon means to you <laughs> but for those of us who actually are part of the um, comedic philosophy in school system you already know who um you know who epitomizes the baboon and where writing actually comes from. So once you understand where writing comes from, you'll understand what the baboon is talking about and you'll understand, um, you know, how and why one has to become a baboon in that sense symbolically, okay? But that's something that, gonna, that will go way over your head, okay? Because you are there to, how can I say, troll. So I'm not even going to break down them type of sciences there for you. It's the answer that Hangout has been hijacked by crazy people. They making bare stupid claims. Oh man, I haven't even jumped on the Hangouts. Does anyone? Let me just quickly see what's good. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So yeah. Oh yeah. Comedic science, baby. Mala <laughs> answer. Talk to me. What's answer saying? Lo, their joke is Indian, claiming that it. Is matha antics in their stupid? 
<laughs> oh man okay 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 i see what you're talking about boy 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 well i'm not even gonna comment on that i'm not even gonna comment on that one you dig i'm gonna keep my mouth pim petulant pim 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 um yeah so um what was i gonna say what was i gonna say i'm actually gonna do yeah i'm gonna restart the show hopefully later on if I've got the opportunity to, because my internet again is just it's fuzzy and it's funny. But I'm just gonna check to see what you guys are on though. I'm gonna check to see what you guys are on. So hopefully later on I'm gonna do a nice little short something and I wanna talk about the eye of Horus, the eye of Ra, and you know how it ties in to our African spirituality. Can you see there? You see Africa right there? I love it. I love it. And then you got the eye of Horus right there. The Wajet. You dig? symbolism behind that so i wanted to jump into the symbolism behind all of that and also um see how we can actually um embody embody literally embody um what this symbol on my head is actually saying okay what is it actually saying how can we embody that how can we be the walking talking um parable of this or parallel of this you dig how do we become that? How do we become the ones who have Africa in our eye? Can you see that? You know, how can we be that? Have Africa in our eye at, at, at all point? How can we be African centered? How can we be African orientated? You dig? How? I'm going to get into that soon. And then, of course, of course, of course, what does the eye of Heru mean? You know, of course, it symbolizes th such things as restoration. So how do we now restore what it is to be an African? Or how do we restore what it, Africa back to its greatness? How do we restore the African mind or the African philosophy? So we're going to go into all of those different types of things there. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be a, have a chance to do it right now. Maybe in a later show we will do. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I wanted to just drop some science on that. And then we can start some classes next week on these types of topics. And I would love, I don't know if you guys haven't got it or have got it ready. I will definitely want to go through the ancient Egyptian book of the dead with you. Yeah, the ancient Egyptian book of the dead. That's number one. That goes back into like the ancient mid new kingdom um, type of literature. So I want to go into something like that with you guys as a starting point. For those who want a systematic study of Kemet, we'll go into that in terms of its philosophical system and its esoteric slash moral system. Yeah, let's do all three together. But let's just say it's, it's the philosophy, it's the esoteric side, and it's also the ethical slash moral side of it. So we want to go into those things. All right, family, peace and love. <laughs>